Is my show so bad I'm getting demoted by London, my daughter's dog? Good evening. Welcome back to Quintessa Productions LLC. I'm your host, Jack Remington. Last week was a banner week. We went 5-0 and against the spread. We're now 14 wins and 6 losses on the season. Got on the board up here. Uh, but we do got some bad news. We lost on our survivor pool. We put the Rams hosting the Bucks, and the Bucks upset them. Uh, I should have done what everybody else did. I should have took the Chargers over Miami when I was afraid of Miami. And that's my fault. I made, I made a poor choice there. My handicapping instincts are not far off, though. Uh, a Los Angeles team was going to get upset, but, but it wasn't the Chargers. It was the Rams. Let's go over this week's games, and we're going to go take a, a leap across the pond. We're going to go to London, to the London game. We're going to take the Oakland Raiders plus uh, the five and a half generous points. <clears throat> there are several factors why I'm going to take that team. Uh, um, people are looking at me like I'm an idiot for going against the Bears. The Bears won three in a row. Their defense is either number two or number three in every category. This is a Khalil Mack revenge game. He's going to show John Gruden he should have paid me the money. And uh, I look for Khalil to get at least one sack. But I'm going to take the Oakland Raiders. They're going to build off that big win they had at Indianapolis last week. And, and we've also picked that game, by the way. We had that on our pool. We had that on our Yahoo Fantasy Sports. And we're proud of that pick. But on deck for these two teams, there is no teams on deck because they're both on a bye. So that leads to my credence that they're both, both teams have got a good chance of letting it all hang out. So added a dash of jet lag. At, at a sprinkle up, we're going to do some sightseeing and uh, with caution. Give me a team that actually I think has got the better offense. Chicago doesn't score that many points. They're, uh, they got an upgrade in quarterback with Chase Daniels. I don't know what the Saul is loving for Tr Trubisky is. Maybe he invested too much in him. Maybe he's a decade younger. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at that yet. But I think they got, definitely got the upgrade with Chase Daniels. Uh, but their car is better than all of them. Uh, I think he can move the ball. I think he's, he's a good quarterback. I think Gruden's a better coach. Okay, game number two. We take the Jacksonville Jaguars plus three and a half at Carolina. Now I, I know both teams started 0 and 2. Both teams are playing back of quarterbacks. Both teams are defensive teams, and they don't score a lot of points either. But I think Gardner Minshew, the second for for Jacksonville Jaguars, is a better quarterback. Uh, the Carolina guy's pretty good, too. Kyle Allen, he's, he, he's pretty good, too. So we're going to take, and plus I think Jacksonville's all, all much healthier. So give me the healthier team. Give me the three and a half points. Give me the better quarterback, the better coach, the better general manager. Next game, we're going to go, we're going to take the New York Giants. This is the one I really got some hard looks at, but wait till you hear the last game. We're taking the New York Giants and uh, this Danny Dimes with Danny Jones, this new quarterback sensation. Uh, then the Giants have won two in a row that, and because their offense is looking better, their defense, hey, we, what about us? They play better. Long story short, Minnesota is the perfect team. If there was ever a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde team, the Minnesota Vikings are it. They're 2-0 and at home with 0-2 on the road. They look bad on the road. Horrible. They can't do anything right now. Kirk Cousins, he's talking smack to his receivers. The receivers don't understand that. Uh, I just think that they're on the road. I, I'm, 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 I'm going to take the Giants, and you know what? <clears throat> I forgot to go over the numbers really quick. I'm trying to do shorter videos. The, the Bears versus the Raiders, 75% of the money is coming in on the Bears. Okay, The Panthers-Jaguars, it's 59 Jaguars, 41 Panthers, but that was it was 55-45 when we were first made to pick. So there was late money coming in on the Jaguars today. Now, this is filming on Saturday, by the way. I couldn't film yesterday. I was in urgent care. 70% of the money is coming on the road team chalk Vikings. Only 30% on the Giants. No love for the Giants. I wouldn't be surprised if the Giants didn't win this game outright. Okay, next game. Denver Broncos. We're taking the Denver Broncos plus 6.5 at the Los Angeles Chargers. 
Uh, the Chargers are the, the worst team, injured team in the NFL. And that's not a criticism. It's just bad luck. Uh, this is a team that's very, very good. Now, don't, under, don't misunderstand me when I talk about the Chargers. They, they won 13 games last year, and they were in that game. I have, I'm going to leave that video up here. They played New England in the playoffs, the playoff game, and they, and they beat them 21-6 in the second half. But that game, I have on my title, the winner of this game wins the Super Bowl. And I knew it was going to be either the Chargers or the Patriots. They were, by the way, they were playing, and I'm proud of that. Broncos, this is the wounded animal team. This is the wounded animal game. Okay, if ever a team needed to win, the Broncos are it. And in a similar spot last year, although it was later in the season, the Broncos came in here and upset the Chargers. It's a division rivalry. Uh, uh, I tend to gravitate toward division rivalry games because they know each other better than, than they do someone they never see. Taking the six and a half as an underdog, and this is a good spot. Uh, on deck for these two teams, the Chargers are at home. And the uh, look-ahead line for week six is the Chargers minus five and a half for hosting Pittsburgh. Uh, they might be looking ahead to, to Pittsburgh. The Broncos, because they're the wounded animal, they're home next week, and they're hosting Tennessee, which I, I feel like Tennessee's a top ten team in the NFL. And they got here on the look-ahead line as a pick em. So that tells me that Denver's going to have a good showing this week. If the line makers thought that Denver was going to get transferred by the Chargers, this wouldn't be a pick em game hosting a top ten team like Tennessee. That's that's where the look at lines come in, come into play, and I, I use that on occasion. And the last game, this is the one that everybody looking at me and thinking uh, I'm really losing it. We're going to take the Washington Redskins plus 15 and a half against the uh, New England Patriots. Washington needs a good showing to so Gruden can save his job. Uh, but the 4-0 Patriots, they're, they're going to run the ball. They're going to coast. they got injuries, too. They're having kicker problems now. Bill Belichick's going to run the ball. But a Bill Belichick team never looks ahead. New England Patriot way. You don't, you don't look ahead. You only worry about that week's opponent, and you don't discuss nothing else. And it, it works. So anyway, uh, that's, that, that's, those are our five picks. Uh, we're taking the Raiders plus 5.5, Jaguars plus 3.5, Giants plus 5.5, Redskins plus 15.5, and the Denver Broncos plus six and a half. Five more dogs. And as you can see, we're talking about the board really quick here. You can see that the underdogs, 10 and 6, 10 and 6, 10 and 6, 10 and 5. Underdogs have won 10 games all four weeks. So we like that. And there are 40 wins and 23 losses year to date. Home teams. Week one, 9 6 and a 1 tie with Arizona and Detroit. Week two, six wins, ten losses. Week three, nine wins, seven losses. And week four, four wins and 11 losses. I can never remember a season where the home team's only won four games. I remember two seasons where the home team didn't win five games. And home teams going back to 1920. They're going to win between 65 and 80% of the games. That's just how it is. Home teams just get up for the game. There's, there's many reasons why the home teams try harder for their fans that are paying them. And plus, they're used to the same. They can go home. It's a different atmosphere when they're home. When they're on the road, it's, the, the bed's too long or too short. And it's cold, whatever. Uh, uncomfortable. You, you're not at your best because you're, you're trying to look around. Remember, it's always a great day to be an American. Entertainment only. Have fun. And see you next week. Thank you.